Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Hot Pod King Carter here, the Super Mini YouTube. And I would like to welcome you guys to the 2014 All-Star Weekend inside of my Philadelphia 76ers Association. Now, a quick little update that you guys might need. If you haven't seen my last video, I do have Michael Carter Williams on my team. But no, I did not give up Drew Holiday. I still have Drew Holiday and Michael Carter Williams is nothing but a backup point guard. Now, as it goes for this game, the Rising Stars Challenge, since Michael Carter Williams was acquired by us and since he's a good rookie with some good game, he did make it to this game. Now, Nerlens Noel was definitely deserved to get this spot and I'm going to tell you right now, Nerlens Noel went completely insane this game. This was like a breakout game for him. I'm, I don't know if it was just because it was up against sophomores and rookies, but this game he was going off. But one thing you might not notice is that Michael Carter Williams is going off himself. Yes, I may have wanted to showcase my Philadelphia 76ers, of course, but did you check out that back scratcher dunk right there? Did you check out that intensity? Look at the crowd go wild. But... Like I was saying about Nerlens Noel, if there was any game that he wanted to show off how much of a beast he was, this was the game that he needed to do it in. Now, I'm going to make the certain adjustments in my association to his where I'm going to try to get Nerlens Noel at least 20 and 10 a night. Or if I can probably do 15 and 10. I definitely want to get him to start averaging a double-double. So when I do, you know... uh what, what is it uh, during key game and stuff like that or you know simulate games he'll be able to you know show up on the floor and we'll be able to try to get you know boards and get wins but check out Michael Carter Williams splitting defenders while he runs down court after the full court press now one thing I will say about Michael Carter Williams everyone knows in real life his jump shot really isn't that great and on the game it, it stands the same it's all about him going inside using his length and using that to his advantage. Now, you can see right here that I'm putting the moves on, guys. I will say, at him being 6'5 and a point guard and quick, he can kind of get to the rim anytime he wants. Now, when it comes to his finishing ability, it may not be the best, but it's pretty good and you guys can see right there that the crowd has no problem with that so just check me out now you guys might say that i was cheesing with michael carter williams kind of but hey man mcw if he can do it in the game hopefully he can do it in real life but did you just see nerlands noel just straight up i mean he kind of bored his way into the paint now that was a nice block right there but just check out all the ball movement and it's going right back to noel now of course you guys might not know but nerlands noel did get the player of the game he went completely off like i said man it's no reason that he shouldn't have got it i think i got like 30 and 12 with him or something like that i'm not sure i know that i definitely wanted to try to get a double double with him and mcw um as it goes for any of our other rookies none of them made it um i didn't see bullock i didn't see macklemore but you know it is what it is man <laughs> we can't always have it but moving on to the next thing in the NBA All-Star Weekend for 2014. Yes, it says 2013 on the screen because they currently do not have, you know, another floor or anything like that. So they have to keep presenting it like this when you have the DLC, which I think is kind of messed up because even in my career, when you're in a slam dunk contest and stuff like that, it still will pop up as 2013. You can be in your eighth year, such as like how Bud 2407 is. But um, J.R. Smith was the only 76er to make it to the three-point contest, and you already know why he made it to the three-point contest. It's J.R. Swish. It's no reason that he should not have made it. So now that he has made it, I wanted to showcase him. I only wanted to use him, so I just let the computer play out as all the other guys. Now, in the first round, I had to shoot the lights out. But the only thing about J.R. Smith's shot is it's very early. So you really got to get it down packed and you have to get him in a rhythm. Now, I got hot very early. I think I got hot on this rack. Once I started making shots and the crowd started going wild, I could not miss. I think I got like a 20-something on that, on that uh, round. So, you know, I was rocking out. But round two is where things got ugly. 
Now, even though I was in a lead for that round, I think the highest score in the second round may have been like a 15 or a 17. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get this one easy. But I started off very, very slow. I couldn't hit anything the first rack. I was like, oh, my God, if I lose this, I'm going to be pissed. But when I got to the second rack, I start hitting shots. I started getting in rhythm. I said, you know what? As long as I hit this money ball, it's all good from there. So what I will tell you guys is I did come out with the win. It was very, very tough because fatigue does take a, a big, big advantage on here. I don't know what it is, but in the second round, guys really are tired. Like I sat up there and watched the computer shoot and the computer was missing like crazy. Like it was so funny because in the first round, I saw like Clay Thompson, uh, what was it? Who was it? Bill, Brandon Knight, all those guys, they had like 20, 19, 18. I think even one person had like 20 or 21. And I'm like, wow. But in the second round, <laughs> it didn't take much to win. So J.R. Smith was the winner of the three point contest in 2014. And you know, he's a 76er on mine. So, you know, <laughs> we all good with that. But moving on to the dunk contest, yes, yes, I know you guys are looking at the screen. Yes, it is 2014 in my association, so you know it is what it is. But um, you know what? And the, and the crazy thing about it is, you know, I think it's 2000. Is it 2015? No, no, it's 2014. Yeah, it's 2014 because uh, yeah, because of the way the season is, 2013, 2014 season. But uh, we have Blake Griffin. We have Ennis, um, which is, I think, Shady0018 put out on Twitter that he was like the uh, the Kevin Durant in Miami. And I was like, yo, that's funny because dude has a great jump shot. But they put him in a dunk contest. Now, right here, I'm just showing you guys highlights of everyone's dunks in each round. Now, check out Blake Griffin. Did he have to bring that out in the first round? Like, let's keep it all the way true. Did he have to bring that out in the first round? Did he have to take a commanding lead like that? Who does a cartwheel in the first round? <laughs> but this right here is round two. You know what I'm saying? People throwing it through the legs, 360 reverse, all of that nasty stuff. Now, Blake Griffin, you know he had to do something outlandish. So, he does the little double pump windmill half i don't know what it's called <laughs> but uh this guy right here uses his teammate puts it between his leg pretty good dunk not too much you know it, well, it's not gonna let the crowd get wild but this dunk right here something nice i did that in one of my dunk contests going under the legs 360 it's very hard to get that off but check out this dunk right here man i think i i really like that dunk but we've seen that dunk before so, you know, the crowd didn't go off too well for that dunk in the third round. But Blake Griffin, come on, windmill between the legs. Oh, come on. He 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 just OD'd. Now, you guys can already tell from these dunks on who won. It's not hard to tell. Blake Griffin came out with the win. But it wasn't it wasn't easy, you know. Um Stephens was right on his on his head. Steven Stephens, whatever you want to call it, however you want to pronounce it, but Blake Griffin did win the dunk contest. And the reason why I didn't control anyone in the dunk contest is because nobody on here was a sixer. So, you know, if, if anybody from the sixers would have made it, I would have controlled them and you would have seen more footage of me picking my dunks and doing all that crazy nonsense. But now that the dunk contest is over, it is time to get into the all-star game. Now, I think this is probably one of the first all-star games that's on my channel. I think I have one up on my channel that me and regular Dave talked over about um, NBA 2K13. But in my career, I was not able to play an all-star game. I kept getting glitched out. But um, we're just checking out the starting lineups right here. You guys saw the East. Now it's time to check out the West. Now, uh, <laughs> the reason why I'm playing this all-star game mainly is because Drew Holiday did get a spot for his second consecutive time. So, you know, I had to, had to play a little game. But this game right here was all about LeBron James. Now, I know a lot of people always say, man, LeBron James is a cheat. He's a glitch. You can't stop him. I'm just going to say one thing. Everyone's right. You cannot stop LeBron James. With a head full of steam, you can't stop him going to the rim. With, um, you know, giving him space for a jump shot, he's going to nail the jump shot. 
contact does not matter. He will go through that contact all day long. But, you know, I wanted to make this a little bit more about Drew Holiday. And I'm going to tell you why. I wanted to at least give Drew Holiday a double-double in this All-Star game. Now, of course, it would not have been realistic with, you know, Drew Holiday getting the player of the game. So, I did not go overboard with the way I was playing with Drew Holiday. But LeBron James, I just did what I wanted with him. Look at that dunk intensity, 81. Are you serious? Are you that crazy? But Carmelo Anthony was getting cookies all night long. I'm not even going to lie about that. And Derrick Rose, he didn't get that many playing minutes, but I did score with him. I didn't want to make it seem like I was playing with Drew Holiday or Kyrie Irving way too much. So I did get a couple points with Derrick Rose as much as I could. But check it out. Look at my boy. He got 11 points and only one assist, right? So I had to change that. You know, I had to start getting dimes with him, you know? I had to start going to the bank with him, you feel me? So I started calling a couple pick and rolls, getting them involved, and check out that nice alley-oop. That thing right there, that hyped me up. That changed the game. Now, the Western All-Stars... You can't take nothing away from them. They're all so when I started to when I started to pull away, they were like, mm, mm not today. Not today. So <laughs> my boy Kobe Bryant got a nice bounce pass from I'ma call him Cliff. I'ma call him Cliff this time. But he got a nice little pass from him and dunked all over everybody. So, you know, it was what it was. Now I'ma tell you this right here. Steph Curry <laughs> can't miss. I think if you play my team, you might want to grab Steph. Like, in all seriousness, that thing is wet. But Walker couldn't hit the shot. They out on the break. Kobe cheating, you know what I'm saying, cherry picking all the way. But I'm going to say this right now. Kobe Bryant, this all-star game, he wasn't playing. Um, I didn't really see too many jump shots from Kobe Bryant. I saw him scoring more in the paint, going in for dunks, contact layups. Other than, you know, him shooting a mid-range jump shot or shooting threes. Now, Kevin Durant, I don't know why he took that shot. That was ill-advised. So, you know, we out on the break. Hit my boy Melo right on the side. Nice little layup. You know what I'm saying? We got the lead back. But now coming into the fourth, this is where things started getting ugly. I said, you know what? Let me turn up with Drew. I said, nah, man. I got I got to turn up with my boy Drew. So, I just started doing all types of crazy things. And look at the project. Come on. Like, really? It's that easy? LeBron just go in and just dunk all over everybody's neck? Like, he turned the corner so fast, Blake Griffin ain't know what was going on. I was like, goodness gracious. But Drew Holiday has 15 and 7. And like I told you guys, I want to get the double-double. So, I was running nice little screens with him and LeBron. I was running picks with him and Melo. I was doing it all. I was actually running plays. And I was setting up people in the paint. Just check me out. Getting LeBron the ball. Hitting a nice little step back. Y'all can't stop me. I'm telling you right now. Like, I always tell people I don't play 5 on 5s because I'm ass. But ever since I started playing my team, man, I have been getting better and better at 5 on 5 games. And it's always that one little thing I always say to people. If I can score 100 points with a creative player, even if he's not on 99, just imagine what I could do with a handful of superstars. So, you know, my, my little saying to you guys is, for all the people that say, iPod, I challenge you to a game, you can't beat me, this, that, and the other. Hey, man, I, I commend you guys. You know, I'm not going to play all you guys and say, you know, just to brag about me beating you or you bragging about beating me. You know, I just want to have fun. You know, I don't want to, you know, have any bragging rights. You know, it, now, if I beat LeBron James with LeBron James using the heat in real life, now that'll be something. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? He knows exactly how his player plays. But you guys already know who the player of the game is. I don't even think we have to discuss it. LeBron James, without a doubt, is the player of the game. He had an excellent showing. Um, <laughs> but I did want to show you guys a few clips. Um, and I also wanted to talk about Drew Holiday and his stats. Because I think if all these superstar point guards weren't in the East, Drew Holiday would have done so much better. But the main thing that I'm thinking about is now that Drew Holiday is on the West Coast,
it's not that many great point guards on the West. I think mainly you got CP3, Steph Curry, and and I guess you could say Damian Lillard and a, and a few others, um, Tony Parker, something like that. But I think in my association, you know, those guys are gonna, like uh, Tony Parker probably going to retire soon. But uh, let's check out Drew Holiday's stats, 15 and 10. Next year is going to be crazy for NBA 2K14. Like, I cannot wait. But, um, yeah, man, 15 and 10, 7 for 14, he went 50%. The three-pointers only went 1 for 4. So, you know, after I missed a few, I said, nah, let me stop taking all these shots. But check out LeBron James, man. That right there is a stat line that shows that he is a beast in whatever he does, going to the lane or whatever. Um, Also, you can look at the little clip up at the top. You can see it like a little player of the game type of clip you know i just wanted to show y'all a little son a little son but let's move on to the next clip i want to show you guys about <gasps> yep let me let's see oh lebron james let me find out lebron trying to lead the heat <laughs> hey i wonder if the sixes can, can get him <laughs> i don't know i might have to move a couple things around if i want to get lebron james next season I might have to move a couple things around, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be in the running with the Lakers or something. <laughs> but this is IKC signing out. Definitely thank you guys for watching. Here goes a couple of um, in-the-game stats, and I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Peace.